Pity money is petty money. Welcome to another episode of Self-Employed Success Secrets Wednesday edition with me, your host, Marcus. On today's episode, we're going to talk about why clarity is better than charity when you're running your business. There's a lot of, there's this broken business concept out there that says, hey, because I'm black or because I'm a woman or because I had some ailment happen to me that you should give me money as we wear the support black innovators sweatshirt I, first of all i have nothing against these groups i have so many against the premise of selling based on oh we are a small business it's, it's you're gonna get small amounts of money i'm gonna tell you why because it's not sustainable you know if you're a business you gotta <clears throat> come off from a place of strength if you come off and say oh we've been oppressed and suppressed you should help us you're going to get chump change. Think about when you go donate to a charity, you give them very small pick a unit amounts. Okay, that's why you don't want to come off that way as, hey, we're a black owned but I've been doing this for a while. I don't come off and say, hey, I'm black. You should buy from me. The only thing I really want to be black or the only time I ever want to talk about black is when it comes to their finances, where it's about what is not verse. Okay, feel sorry for me. The crux of this video is Focus more on making a good future impression than focusing on past oppression or suppression. A lot of companies that are struggling doing well, they, they come off this way. Hey, support support us. They're a pseudo charity. They just get the little small amounts. Okay. You don't want to do that because it's it sends the wrong message. It sends, hey, feel sorry for me. Sympathy money is not going to get you far. You'll get... A little I get it. I'm black. I, I understand the black struggle. I understand there is racism. There is prejudice, but I'm not going to let that stop me from having a successful business. Okay. Literally today <clears throat> was working on something for somebody that was giving them clarity and they are willing to pay money for this information per month. Clarity is better than charity. Okay. Now, having been self-employed, most of my clients are white. So it's not white people are not keeping me down. It is my vices keeping me down. White people have helped me. Black people have helped me. I've been helped by all sorts of races and groups, and I have been opponents to all sorts of races and groups too, okay? It's really about what's going on in your head and heart versus what's going on with somebody else and blaming somebody else for your circumstances, okay? And looking to the past and saying, Hey, because of this past hurt that was done to us, I cannot be successful. That could not be further from the truth. Okay. There is nobody keeping me down more than myself. And that's one thing I've learned. Being self-employed is that clarity is better than charity. Do not position yourself as, hey, feel sorry for me. You're not going to get where you want to go. If you position yourself as, hey, we're here to do a good job, whether we're black, brown, green, purple, magenta, or orange. That is where you have strength. Because people are looking for solved problems, They're looking for results, they're looking for clarity, they are looking for strength. <clears throat> when you come off as, oh, support us because we're a certain color, you're not gonna get that. Okay, like I said, I've been in, I'm, I know, I understand the plight of these people, but it, you know, <clears throat> a lot of these businesses that say this, they're not making any money, it's because they're getting scraps. Okay, and as they say, a man, and, and a lot of it has to do with focus on the past, past hurts, past past pain. As they say, a man who focuses on the past robs himself of his future. So don't rob yourself of the future. And also, too, stay tuned for the very end for a surprise. But understand that clients are looking to be educated, they're looking to be looking to have their business evaluated, they're looking for execution. They're not looking for, oh, feel sorry for me because this bad thing happened to me. Bad things happen to everybody. Okay. But you should focus more. We all should focus more on clarity. If you have a business, you want to make money. Clarity versus charity. Okay, bring clarity. That's what. That's one big thing that just about anybody wants is clarity. How much does it cost? What's it going to do for me? How How is it going to do it? Instead of being like, oh, feel sorry for us because we need money. You know, it was Jim Rohn who said that <clears throat> life responds to deserve, not need. Okay, if you deserve something, that's when life will be like, hey, you can have this. But if you're just like, I need it, I need your business to stay running, people are gonna people are gonna run away. Because they're like, they're you're needy, you're not strong, you can't stand on your own. 
And people can notice that. Like if you're desperate, you're gonna lose clients. That's why it's ironic when you don't care about getting clients is when you get clients, okay? If people can kind of feel that you have a vibe and energy, a spirit, whatever you wanna call it about you, that's just like, he's desperately weak. Okay, people who have to ask for charity, they're, you know, they, they need help. And we've all been in a situation where we may need help from other people, but if you're positioning your business as, hey, you know, I'm a charity, you're not gonna make, you're not gonna make money, I've seen this. And it's gonna sound good, you'll get sympathy pass. Oh yeah, that's nice, we love, we love the mission, but then you're not gonna get the dollars that people are asking for. And so yeah, just understand that clarity is better than charity. And this leads to today's surprise, which is necessity never made a good bargain. That is a quote from Ben Franklin, which means that if you need something, you're not gonna get. When you need something, that's when people will take advantage. If you need clients, they'll be like, oh, you know, here's here's some petty money, but we really don't like what you do. We'll just, we feel sorry for you so that we're not really, you know, we don't find you appealing because we you're worse than us. Like we have, you're, we want someone stronger than us in some area. That's why people get hired. You're stronger than them in some area. And so listen to the advice. It'll, it'll really help you. Don't position yourself as, hey, I'm a minority or I'm this, okay? As the core part of your marketing. It can be an ancillary part. It can be a secondary part, but if you make it the focus, it's not gonna help you. If you're gonna look down on you, are gonna be like, you know, it's not merit. It's just more, hey, he's showing up, okay? Yes, I understand that minority businesses go through a lot. They have been through a lot. They are, they are overlooked sometimes, but don't want that being an excuse to you that there's a lot of successful businesses that are ran by minorities and they're not making any excuses. About it. I know it's hard, everything's hard, but hopefully you got some value from this video. Remember clarity is better than charity when it, like I said, the only thing I mean, that matters to me about being black is are their finances in the black from working with us, that's it. I don't, I don't care if race shouldn't come into it, it doesn't matter, can I do the work? Can I do the work? It doesn't matter if I'm black, brown, whatever. Can I do the work? That's it, okay? Hopefully that'll help you as you inch forward in your self-employment process, okay? Bye.